Hi friends, I wanted to introduce today's Storybook Bible Time guest reader. Uh, he is a professor of Christian Education and Childhood Studies at Louisville Seminary. He's the author of a books like Power of God at Home, Original Knowing, and Invisible Companions. Uh, along with the family devotional Together We Pray, and the picture book, Thank You, God. Uh, he is also someone very close to me, since he is my dad, and I thought would make a great uh, guest reader for this Father's Day week. So I just want to say thank you, Dad. Thank you for being our guest reader, and thank you for teaching me about my own faith and what it means to be a father in this world. I have been blessed for you being my dad, and my kids are blessed to have you as a granddad and for what you taught me about being a father. So thank you, dad, and for the rest of you, I hope you enjoy today's storybook Bible time. Hi, everybody. I am Brad, Pastor David's father, better known as Ellie's granddad. And I'm happy to share a story from the Bible with you today. This is a story from the Gospel of Luke. And in it, Jesus teaches his disciples, as well as all of us, about the secret of true happiness. One day, Jesus told his followers about God's dream of a world where all the children of God are loved and cared for, and no one is left out. Blessed are you who are poor, Jesus said, for all God's world is yours. And blessed are you who are hungry, for God will feed you. And blessed are you who are sad, for God will comfort you and you will laugh again. Blessed are you who feed the poor, for you are the hands of God. And blessed are you who comfort the sad, for you are the arms of God. And blessed are you who work for peace, for you are the voice of God. And blessed are you who are loving and kind, for you are the heart of God. You are the light of the world, Jesus said. Shine. Let the whole world see your goodness and therefore give glory to your God in heaven. If you're angry with your brother or your sister or your friend, speak to them. Speak to them from your heart and make peace. Forgive, you will be forgiven. Love your enemies and pray for them, for they too are children of God. Do to others as you would have them do to you what you give the world, so the world will give to you. Will you pray with me? Dear God, thank you for showing us the way to true happiness. Amen. 